Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, the Oracle of Seasons. Of course the milk has spiderwebs in it. Taste it! So, last time, I died, or, yeah, that is a thing that happened too, but no. Last time, the game broke after I pulled up the map after reaching this part, so... Off screen, I replayed everything up through beating this boss and did better. I didn't die that time. The other day, I was talking about how I how I make levels in Super Mario Bros. X and why I do so poorly, but I never finished talking about it. So what happens is I get excited about an idea that involves coding because that's what drew me to Super Mario Brothers X in the first place. Like, drew me to making levels, I should say. Ow. Hmm. How... Anyway. Huh. So, what I do is write code for what I want to do, design a level to uh, interact with the code, and then test it to make sure the code works, and you know, it never does the first time, because that's just how coding works. And so then I mess around with both the level and the code until I get the code to work the way I want it to. And then when it comes to actually making the level from there, I just look what I have and go, how do I get... F how do I fix this to make it a level? And then, like, I can't because, well, I'm starting from a level that's built as a test case. What I think I should do is, at that point, scrap the existing level and then... Oh, wait, does Link automatically jump when I approach that? Yes. Anyway, what I think I should do at that point is scrap the existing level and then build the level from, well, scratch. Okay, so I need to somehow get... I hope this doesn't break things. Okay, there are two treasure chests left. I need to somehow get one of them. The other one is probably cash? Or maybe a Gosha Seed, and that is the thing that I want. I mean, hypothetically, I want cash too, because there's something I need like 400 rupees for. So how do I do this? What do you want from me here? Eh? Aha! Uh -huh. There's the boss key. I'm going to save? On the one hand, I normally don't like having to push blocks in a place where I'm constantly under threat. On the other hand, here I feel like it was well done because it gives it a franticness, but uh... Let's see, up, right, right. It gives it a franticness that would otherwise be absent in. Did I forget to remove my ring? I did. Alright, this should have... This should... One of these will have health under it. Okay, so... Okay, so how do I get down to there? That is a question. Oh, I remember. I put the ring on last time to deal with these hands, since they are apparently finite in number. I do like that I can push these out of the way and get whatever's in them just by pushing them aside. 
I would prefer to have the level 2 sword already so I could just smash him. Okay, so. I think I actually got that treasure on my first attempt and then didn't get it on the retry. Haha! -ha. Okay, so. It's a gotcha seed. Heck yeah, I want that. Okay, so then. Now to get back to the boss chamber. Which is upstairs, I believe. Okay, so, off to the boss chamber. It's a moth! Who would have expected? I got my power ring on. This is probably a bad idea. Wow, that is definitely a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, take that game that lets my sword reach slightly farther than is reasonable. I got the bright sun and essence of nature. Young shoots grow quickly under the warm rays of the bright sun. Excellent. Hello, tree. What n wisdom do you have for me today? Whoa, thank you, Link. I too feel the bright sun. I dreamt of the waterfall in the mountain north of Sunken City. Perhaps the next essence is near there. Perhaps. But I think what I want to do first is go to Subrosia. Like, it, I don't have a thing specifically in my notes about it, I just have a feeling in my intestines that that would be a good idea. Good job, me. Alright, so... I believe the entrance to Subrosia is... Okay. I need to go around to get to it. Right, for that I need a little help. No! Why? There we are. Haha. -ha. So, what I have learned in the past is I am bad at controlling Dimitri and need to just uh, get it over with as quickly as possible. Ow. Ow! Also, maybe I'm bad at playing this game. Oh, sweet, a ring! Alright. I am ready. Haha! -ha. That went so much better. Just thanks to those seeds. Let's see, I mean, I got a lot of jumps listed for this underground place, this is true. So. I guess so. Oh, yeah. I guess there's a spirit related to jumping. So I'll deal with that first. Okay, so this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
two, three, four, five, seven, comma, five. Uh, hmm? Oh, right. I was looking at the overworld portion of the uh, thing rather than the subrosia portion of my notes. Okay, not this one. Yours all in chunks. Neat. Oh. We're gathering chunks of ore to melt in the furnaces. I want to break this ore filled rocks, but it rock was too hard. A bomb flower could break it, but they aren't in blue. Some guy down south says he saw one though. Okay, so then that would be eleven comma eight. Uh bomb flower. So close. And yet so far. I think there was something else I wanted to do down here. What was it? Oh hey, birds. Multiple blackbirds, so I guess they are crows rather than ravens. I wonder what they're up to. Right, I wanted to see if the secret, well, not so secret, but the market had a thing that I was interested in. Ooh, yes, that's what five. Hey Market, have you changed up your inventory yet? You have, what's this? Yes. I don't know, I'll trade for five more times. <laughs> it's shiny and has membership card written on it, I don't know, five more times. I don't have enough to trade, darn. Alright, so. I just love the way they value things in Subrosia, like, it's shiny has a membership card on it. I don't know, probably worthless. Oh. That's where I want to go. I don't know why I thought I wanted to go to the beach to, uh... Oh, get out of here. Okay, so there's still plenty of places to jump in Subrugia, but Oops. I didn't have okay good. Hey! What if I jump over this? That was a terrible idea. What if I make it winter here? And where's the nearest stump? Right, the nearest stump is right next to the entrance to the uh, dungeon. But what if I make it winter here? Can I get to that cave? You know, that cave what requires it to be winter in order to get into it. Ow. I think part of the issue I'm having controlling Dimitri is that when Dimitri is eating something, Dimitri is still vulnerable to attack. Like, when Link is killing a thing, he can just move again immediately. When Dimitri eats a thing, Dimitri is uh, vulnerable to attack because 
He's spending some extra frames. Uh, eating a thing where you can't move. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, well, I need to summon Dimitri to get where I'm going, but... Excellent! You didn't show up from the one direction I can't get you from here. Alright. Good job, me. Sheesh. Well, thank goodness that there is so much health in this game. Alright. Alright, time to head inside. Alright, and there's a treasure chest. I got the square jewel! Neat! I think I need that for a later mandatory quest involving the Tarm Ruins. Sheesh! Okay. So, before I call it quits, I want to go at least back to town. And, uh, check out what's in the members only shop. Oh yeah, great dodge. Okay. So off I go. I also want to check out my new ring. I hope it's a good one. Alright, so... Alright, the shop. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, that's a member's card. You're a member? Pardon me, you may continue to the rear. I'm glad that member's cards don't have any identifying information on them. Oh yeah, everything here needs 300 monies except this, which I think is mandatory to continue, but come on, more seeds. That's such well, lots of seeds, there's 300 rupees. Okay, I think this map isn't actually mandatory to continue, but it's extremely useful, and I don't think I need it right now anyway. But yeah, I'm definitely buying the map next, because 300 monies for a gosh of seeds. Kind of terrible. Lonnie has gotten better. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that wouldn't help him get better. I don't know what... I was trying to talk to the kid. Hey man, tell me things. My boy is well, so I can rest. Today I have more to teach. My experience holds that planting gosha seeds in strange spots produces more rare and unusual results. Neat. Alright, so... Hey, you. Vasu. I want to know about this ring. Moblin ring. I get that one a lot. Alright. Join me next time when I start exploring all the jump spots listed on my, uh, notes. Yes, I will see you then.